This is a tour of Apalachicola Boulevard. We'll start at the Water Street Hotel and Marina on Water Street. It's combo Airbnb hotel, marina, etc. Water Street and Avenue I. This is up the creek where I'll bar. Tuesday through Thursday, open noon till 8. Restaurant and wildlife observation deck. Upstairs in the Rock Creek Raw Bar. Up the Creek Raw Bar, that is. And they're inside because it is hot as hell outside, but there is an outside with the view. A dozen oysters, Captain Jack style, which is pepper jack and bacon. Currently cost $24.99. Hello, Kimmy. Another view of the houseboats next door. This is a quick view of the drink menu. I think we just had some wines. Um, and this is the food menu. You order at the counter and then they bring it to you. Next up, the creek these cool little houseboats some of them you can rent some are permanent residents and this is also on Water Street I went to the Florida houseboat rentals website to try to get an idea of prices and uh, they don't show the prices you can like request one of those units and uh, and then they'll get back to you with a quote. So who knows how much they actually cost. Let's check out the Random Catch Vintage Chic store on Water Street and Avenue G. building we were in, the uh, Random Catch, was originally a Riverside Cafe building. Apalachicola Ice Company. So it used to be a bar, a pub, with several stages. Now it's shut down. And nothing but a shell. Across the street from the ice company is the Baked Appalach, a breakfast joint. Six forty-five to nine, huh? View of Avenue F from Water Street. I think we'll hit some of these on the way back. Once again, we're on Water Street and Avenue F. We're gonna check out this building right here. First up is Betsy's Sunflower. Open, open, open. As you might expect, this place had stuff for the kitchen, tablecloths and napkins and bowls and jams and jellies and all that kind of good stuff. Very small crap store, but packed with a lot of things. I guess I should point on the water side of the street, the water side of Water Street, um, mainly warehouse buildings with shrimp plants, except for the occasional bar. Water Street backs up to the Apalachicola River. Cafe Con Leche. Yeah, we're not in the mood for coffee, so we won't go in there right now.
we talked to the guy in that store. I didn't want to take pictures because it's artwork in there and stuff. But he was real friendly. Told us about some places you can go, some remote beaches. So check out that store if you get a chance. Here's Avenue E. I guess we'll check it out on the way back. On the way back? I guess, one? yeah. Okay. But, uh, place is closed on a Wednesday afternoon so I don't know when it ever opens. Let's check out the Grady Market. It's a big place. IPA. Good. Bitter as expected. Dirty blonde pale ale. Mm, I really like this. Pop those in the IPA. Red right return, amber. Mm, that's yummy too. And the Pilsner. Well, that's nice too. Pilsner is nice and light. So do you either it'd be between that and the dirty blonde? Dirty Blonde, Pilsner, uh, the Amber, the Red Right Return, and then the IPA. Those are my favorites. In that order. And next door was Hole in the Wall uh, Cafe. It wasn't open when we were there, but we talked to some folks that said it was pretty good. And it's definitely the most reasonable as far as pricing goes for most of the places there in Apalachicola. Market Street is the basically the main street of Apalachicola. Tons of uh, boutique shops. I'm not going to video them all. This one looks a little interesting though. The Backstreet Peddlers Alley Botanical Garden. Ice cream shop on Market Street with Bluebell ice cream. There was a little wine and cheese shop, um, but 
sadly it was never open when we walked by it, which is too bad because we like wine and cheese. The tin shed has a phone booth. This place was huge. It had a huge indoors place and several sheds back behind it, but mostly rusted junk, you know, um, nothing we wanted to buy. And I forgot to take pictures inside. This is the Gibson Hotel, which opened in 1907. It's a pretty building. Uh, hotel is still open. I can't tell you about the rooms because we didn't stay there. But we did dine at the Franklin Cafe, which was nice. Um, and uh, I got a little video of it. We are here at the Franklin Cafe and the Gibson Hotel. We didn't get a tablecloth, everybody and else has We are here at 609, so we're here a little early. Didn't have to make reservations, but they do take them. This is the Seafood Imperial. And this is the catch of the day, which is triple tail. You got the same kind of fish? This is the bar in the Gibson. And this is the lobby of the Gibson Hotel. Across the street from the Gibson Hotel is the Station Raw Bar. Looked interesting. We didn't have a chance to eat there, but um, they have a. It used to be a filling station, obviously, and they uh, had a guy playing guitar out front. Looked like there was some indoor seating as well. Looked like reasonable price. Well, standard prices for uh, food there. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to Half Shell Dockside. Um, it's open on Sundays which is rare because most places aren't open on Sunday so we arrived on a Sunday uh, and Sunday afternoon it was packed but we did get in in about 20 minutes had some oysters had crab cake sandwich some mac and cheese and it was all really really good so this is located on I'm gonna mispronounce it Sapio Creek a few blocks west of of downtown um, you know, so maybe a 10 or 15 minute walk. And last but not least, the most highly recommended place to eat in Apalachicola is the Owl Cafe. So get there early, like we did, and we still had to wait 20 minutes, but that's okay. They have a tap room in the basement next door, which is nice. Everything on the menu is highly recommended. Um, I think I have a picture here. This is just the... Uh, salad that comes with all the entrees and then uh, I think I went the beef tenderloin and it was really really good and my wife got the I think she got the catch of the day but everything was super tasty super good and they have a nice wine selection there too so once again that's the Owl Cafe not to be missed if you're in Apalachicola Thanks for watching. This is the end of the video. Hey, um, just wanted to let you know that this was filmed entirely on an iPhone and not at the max settings. I used 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second to uh, make this, and I I did it quick and dirty. Usually, I'm I've got the 4K video camera out and taking all these videos, and then I never bother to actually edit and create a video so this time I did it opposite I just used the iPhone and did it quick and dirty and just to get it out there so hopefully you find it useful if you're planning a trip to uh, Apalachicola and the Forgotten Coast thanks bye